Hey, y'all, it's Charlotte from the Hartzell Homestead. I'm excited to be back here with you on the Creative Retreat Kids YouTube channel with this month's uh, Kit Sing for Joy, devotion written by Jan Cookson. And it is absolutely a wonderful study, wonderful study. I've had so much enjoyment already um, learning and digging in and doing my scripture writing. But as soon as this kit came and I saw the back of our devotional card, you know, we always get a beautiful print to work with, a quilty image popped into my head. I'm going to give it a try in my um, Reflections Art Journal. The inspiration is stemming from this exploding heart quilt. It is on my list of quilts to make. It's an it's an ever-growing list. Who knows when and what year I might get to it, but I'm going to make it on paper today, and I'm looking forward to it. This exploding heart pattern is from Slice of Pie, and so I will link it so that you can get yourself a visual also if you wanted to kind of play with it on paper. Um, I'm wondering if playing with it on paper might help me put it together quilty in my head, but we're going to work with that. Now, since we have uh, so many black and white images, I wanted to put a pop of color behind it. So I went ahead and prepared a couple of pages. These are just scrapbook paper pieces that I cut to size. I'm using this Grumbacher uh, mixed media book. Um, I started using it back in January. I had to think for a minute because it has these removable pages and you'll see me take mine out in just a little bit. Um, and that gives me freedom to put the book aside, work on the pages and then put them back in the book without the bulkiness of the book or risking getting messy on anything else. I have really really enjoyed working in this book. It gives me an opportunity to play with some bigger ideas before whoops, before I take it into my Bible because I'm, I am visualizing this image smaller on a, a margin. So I'm going to play with it here first. Um, but I'm, I've made a couple of copies of the back of my devotional. Now you could print this out digitally if you didn't have a copier um, type printer. I just put this on and ran it twice so that I could have plenty of little triangles to play with because this is really made from all of these little half, I think they're half triangles, a bunch of triangles. That's what they are. A bunch of little triangles, half quarter, whichever. <laughs> and um, I'm going to be using the ones from here, these little halves to make that shape uh, come out and then just kind of use the confetti to uh, explode all over the place. Now, one of the things that made my heart happy when this image came into mind, I went to pull this for inspiration. And as I was reading about it, because I of course get distracted looking at the quilty side of it, the question says, what makes your heart burst with joy? And I thought, this is a perfect connection to our Sing for Joy uh, study because we're looking at worship and we're looking at praise and the music and the songs that kind of um, fuel that. And so I thought, what a wonderful one to tie in. And now I will be able to connect this back when I, when I do get around to making that quilt. Okay, let's get started and see how this goes. Okay, now when I prepped my pages, I simply cut them to size from a 12 by 12 uh, scrapbook paper sheets and I punched uh, matching square holes using my cinch. Um, now, those are closed sided holes, so I wanted it to continue to be removable pages. So I used scissors just to snip the edges um, up the margin of the page so that I could keep them removable. Um, okay, now here we go into super speedy mode today simply because it's an easy process, but a little uh, time involved in cutting up all of these little triangles. Now, on my design, I did end up using um, the half square triangles, but then I also cut those in half again and had some smaller sizes and several random sizes just to add a little more of a confetti look around the pages. My goal is to replicate that center heart and then explode it with, um, like I said, the confetti going across both pages. And I want that to be the foundation and kind of like my focal art piece um, to go with uh, what I want to do later on the other side. And um, I'm going to, my reflection is going to be just kind of focusing on a key verse here in a little bit. Now, I'm just randomly cutting out these triangles in the various patterns that were on um, this overall design, and I'm placing them around my page. While I'm doing this, let's look at those reflection questions. I love number one asks us, which worship songs best express your wonder at what Jesus has done in your life? 
Wow, what a question. What a reflection. It most likely would depend on what season that you're in or maybe what recent God sighting you may have been blessed with that might prompt your answer. But um, let's share all of these answers below and make a worship song list. So that way we can all pull from this. Some days I'll have to tell you, I'm tapping my feet to some bluegrass hymns. You know that because that's my little intro and exit. Bluegrass music makes my heart happy. It, the banjo is my favorite little instrument. It's just got a, a happy, peppy little little tune. Um, but I also love church hymns. I love the contemporary worship music on the radio. I just love to fill the air. And I've said that many, many times before. Um, I'm listening to Mercy Me some days. I love Mercy Me music, their songs, um, their lyrics. They're so, so many good stories in songs uh, by so many artists. Um, and I know I've mentioned before how the lyrics in any of these songs are pulling straight from scripture and it's bringing that scripture off the pages of the Bible and it's just so filling, fills your heart. Amazing Grace will always be a favorite of mine. And I think I share that with many, many, many Christians. It's kind of like a, a Christian anthem song, if you will. It's got such such power in those words, really. Also, in my last video, I mentioned a song that keeps popping up in front of me, whether it's in church as a special or on the radio. Um, sometimes, you know, you get that little repetition and you know that there's some messages in that, but it's 10,000 Reasons or Bless the Lord by Matt Redman. I had to take a second to look it up, the meaning to look up that, uh, because I like to do that. I don't know if y'all like to do that, but you know, you listen to a song over and over and you think there's more to that. And so you kind of go and look to see if there is a testimony that's been shared or just uh, a little history to songs. Old hymns have wonderful history tied to them. And I think that that even makes that song sometimes speak more and uh, come alive more. But this is what I found when I looked up a little bit of background of 10,000 Reasons or Bless the Lord. Um, the song enumerates various attributes of the love of God for mankind that makes him worthy of praise unending worship for 10,000 years and then forevermore. The song is using these attributes, God's holiness, loving kindness, slowness, to, slowness, I'm sorry, to anger, kind heart, his goodness, his great name. There's an endless list of God's loving characteristics. And we can bring this, um, we can go straight to our scripture here and look at Psalm 103 that begins, bless the Lord, O my soul. In verse two, bless the Lord, O my soul. So many places in Psalms, we see those three words, bless the Lord, and they're praise words and worship words, and they're beautiful. I also love Mercy Me, uh, Then Christ Came. It's a beautiful song. Zach Williams and Dolly Parton, There Was Jesus. Those two songs come on the radio. The volume's going to go up. I love how music can... Um, lift our spirits, and praise can just fill the air. Okay, now I have finished up with all those little triangles and the exploding heart and want to use some of the kit elements just to bring some more color now onto the page. Uh, you know I'm going to use all of the adorable wonky hearts all over the pages and um, then also bring the kit title to the center of my big heart. And I'm using the Sing for Joy sticker from the um, kit sticker sheet. I also splash some of um, the Bullseye Red pigment ink around the two pages using these little music notes from the kit stamps. Um, then I decided on the right side, I'm gonna focus on a verse for my reflection. And I chose to use Psalms nine and one. I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. And it goes on to say, I will show forth all thy marvelous works. And then in verse two, it says, um, I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thou most high. I love that declaration. I will praise thee with my whole heart. No half-hearted, lukewarm intentions here, but I promise to praise with my whole heart heart. You know, sometimes we can be listening to the radio, mumbling along through a song, or even in church, going through, you know, the hymns, and all of a sudden, snap. Those words, the lyrics, the music, 
grabs our attention, gets our heart, and will refocus us. And our prayer should always be, back to this verse, that we are being intentional and wholehearted with our worship. I sure have enjoyed being with you today, and I hope that you're joining us for Singing for Joy um, this month. If not, it's not too late to get a physical kit or even downloadable kit uh, through the Faithful Digitals. Don't forget to share your favorite songs below. And um, then here's a quick look also at my two finished pages together. And um, then also my margin entry that I did. I kind of took some of those leftover little triangles and wanted to recreate um, a note here in my Bible as well. I hope y'all have a very blessed day. 